The narrow glass bottle contains water and combination of translucent wax, carbon tetrachloride, or other combinations. The density of wax at room temperature is more than that of water and less dense in warmer conditions. In the lamp, there are two liquids, which are very close in density and insoluble to one another. The heavier liquid absorbs the heat produced by the bulb, and as it heats up, it expands. As it expands, it becomes less dense. Because the liquids have very similar densities, the formerly heavier liquid becomes lighter than the other liquid, so it rises. As it rises, it cools, making it denser and therefore heavier, so it sinks. This creates a convection current. This all happens in slow motion because heat absorption and dissipation are fairly slow processes. On this side we have the cold water, on this side we have the warm water, and when I remove the divider, let me watch what happens. The convection current is transporting around the heat and the water is being separated by its density. The warmer water is going to end up on top and the cooler water is going to end up on the bottom, similar to the ocean. And, uh, but initially when we pulled the divider, that convection current so went around in that direction. Water will, uh, heat will continue to transfer um, as we go along and eventually it will be mixed. In summary, convection is the process of heat transfer from one location to the next by the movement of fluids. The moving fluid carries energy with it and flows from a high temperature location to a low temperature location. When the density of the fluid decreases, those particles rise to the top and are displaced by colder particles with greater density. This creates circulation currents which allow for heat to be dispersed throughout the fluid. In this demo, a piece of copper is being heated. Shown is an infrared thermometer, which uses infrared waves to take the temperature of solids. At room temperature, the temperature of copper is 19 degrees Celsius. We are using a Bunsen burner to heat the piece of copper. As the copper heats up, its particles are gaining kinetic energy. This means that the copper is increasing temperature, which is the measure of particles average kinetic energy. After the copper has been heated, the infrared thermometer measures 56 degrees Celsius. This 37 degree change happens in a very short time period because metal is a good conductor of heat. In this demo, a beaker of warm water is being placed in a container of ice. Because heat always moves from a hot substance to a cold substance, the water is transferring heat to the ice through the process of conduction. At room temperature, the water is 19 degrees Celsius. Conduction is the method of heat transfer which involves the transfer of heat from one location to another due to particle collisions in the absence of any material which flows from one substance to the other. This means that there is no physical matter moving between the water and the ice, but rather energy is transferred. The change in temperature of the water is a result of the loss of kinetic energy due to particle collisions. As we measured the water again, the thermometer read 5 degrees Celsius, a 14 degree change. This heat transfer would continue until thermal equilibrium is reached. In this demo, a beaker filled with snow is being heated by a lamp that emits heat in the form of electromagnetic waves. Visible light and infrared waves are being emitted by the incandescent light 
bulb and are heating the snow. When the waves reach the snow, the particles in the snow gain kinetic energy. This causes an increase in temperature shown by the change in phase. The snow is melting, going from a solid to a liquid. As you can see, the snow has melted a considerable amount. There is more water in the bottom than there was, and the snow is much less than we had before. In this demo, a beaker is filled with black sand. The lamp is heating the sand by the radiation of visible light and infrared waves. At room temperature, the sand is 21 degrees Celsius. Through the process of radiation, energy is being carried by electromagnetic waves from the lamp to the space surrounding it, without the movement of matter. The hotter the, an object is, the more it radiates. The thermal energy radiated by the lamp is being absorbed by the sand, causing the average kinetic energy of the particles to increase in a net increase of 12 degrees Celsius. The sand is noticeably warmer.